Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Overwatch, and Motisi here. Um, it's been a while since we've done an Overwatch video, because the only times I make Overwatch videos are literally on the events, but I can do more than that. Uh, this one is the Halloween Terror. This is one I'm really looking forward to. Kind of already saw this, kind of already saw a sneak peek of one of the skins. This, I was going to make a video of this a long time ago. I don't mean like long time ago as in like years ago, I mean like I was going to make it like weeks ago. But like I said in my last video, which I recommend you watching with the whole why I was gone for three weeks, I didn't get the chance to, so I had to do today, because today is the last day of this Halloween event. And yes, it is now going on November. Uh, we've begun November, it's only also two days away, I think. I think it's November 3rd, I'm pretty sure. Let me check my tablet. Or no, November 2nd. In three days, there's going to be the upcoming Marvel movie for uh, The Eternals, which me and my mom were wanting to go see. And we also wanted to go see Shang-Chi, but we never got around to it. Anyway, uh, that's not the point. I was going to make, just overall, I was going to make a video on this before. Now's my chance. It's a good thing I'm doing it now, because like I said, today was the last day. If I didn't do it today, you guys weren't going to see it again until next year. And even then, next year, it wouldn't show all these characters. Because, thing is, these characters in particular that got Halloween skins were characters that were, were the only characters in the game that did not have Halloween skins in particular. Like, these, the, the mainly the legendaries. All the legendary characters were the only characters that didn't have one. Did I say legendary characters? I meant all these characters, all the legendary one, like, skin ones... Basically, the ones that have legendary skins are the ones that didn't have one, okay. It's just, and the epic ones, they already had one, except for, you know, from last year. Well, Genji did. Genji's finally getting some attention, though. He hasn't had any in a while, especially from Halloween. And also, for Zarya. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, uh, first we got Skeleton for Genji. Which is actually kind of cool. Like, everybody really likes this skin. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if I... Don't know if I'd say it's better than the other one. Which, if you don't remember from last year's... Actually, I don't think you've seen last year's. The last year, Genji also got a Halloween skin. But it was a legendary. And it was like a demon crow. And also, also a lot of... Tanks. It was like heavily themed around tanks that got Halloween skins. Because <laughs> last year for legendaries it was Hanzo, Genji, Diva, Winston, and Sigma. And then the epic skins were Sombra, Brig, and Echo. This one is Genji, Roadhog, Zarya for epics. And then Bastion, Brigitte, Echo, Lucio, and Reinhardt for legendaries, which I've been really looking forward to. And the funny thing is, I literally guessed that these characters were going to get a Halloween skin. I just couldn't think of what for, uh, like what it could be. But yeah, overall, I think this is a cool skin. Next, we got the clown skin for Roadhog, which looks like a number of different clown characters, ranging from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is like that goofy old clown movie. It's supposed to be like a scary movie, but it's not really that scary at all. It's actually just more like, kind of meant to be not meant to be serious literally it's just basically alien clowns that turn people into cotton candy through guns don't ask me that it's an old movie also it kind of looks like uh it looks like the clown from it obviously but yeah it's a pretty decent skin I actually managed to get it because if you don't remember, they made it to our epic skins. You actually have to, you know, earn through winning games. But next we have, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's like Einherjar. Einherjar. I think I have a canker sore in my lip or mouth. But anyway, uh, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but. When I looked up at what an Einher jar is, it's basically someone who has gotten a lot of kills during Valhalla and they ascended as a 
as a ghost or something, a spirit. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like, you might have to look it up yourself. I could be wrong. But yeah, I don't really care for it. The only, the only thing I like about it is the gun. I might have to take the golden, the weapon skin off. Because you probably can't really see it with my golden weapon on it. But yeah, without the golden weapon, it looks pretty decent. But the rest of the skin, I don't really care for. It's kind of bland to me. I guess maybe like the hair is okay. Next we got Bastion Coffin. Honestly, I'm not disappointed in it. It's okay. It's just, I mean, what else? There's not a whole lot of options for Bastion. I mean, yeah, he needed a Halloween skin, like legendary one, because he already had an epic one for years. But there's not a whole lot they could have done with it. I mean, yeah, they could have made him look like a Zomnik, like a zombie robot, because, like, in Overwatch Universe, their forms of zombies would be zombie robots called Zomniks. And it's not a virus that makes them, it's like a... It's the mad scientist who makes them in a the lab. There's a whole game of That's the fun thing about this. I wanted to record a video of me doing the game of Junk and Signs Revenge for you. I would normally do it with friends, but... Uh, nobody plays this game anymore. I mean, yeah, occasionally my dad plays it with me, or been trying to get Noel into it as well, but other than that, I haven't had much luck, so I'm probably just going to end up having to do it by myself. But yeah, I think this is a de decent skin. It fits him, because he literally, his epic skin is called Tombstone. It would only make more sense if he gets a legendary skin called Coffin to go with it. You know, Tombstone and a Coffin. Wait, what? Tombstone and a Coffin? Coffin with a Tombstone. Also, I like the fact that his little bird's like a skeleton. And he has a, a hand coming out of the side of the coffin on his chest. But yeah. Next, we got Vampire Hunter for Brigitte. Which I think looks pretty cool. At least decent-wise. They're actually trying to make her out to be like the main character of the story for this one. My favorite part about it is probably the mace and also her backpack. And having like that skull with the dagger holding it. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, you see her mace. It's like a green lantern. So it makes me think of. And then here's her shield. Which is alright. I don't really play a lot of Brig. I don't really care for Brig, but yeah. Next we got Vampire Bat Echo. I didn't buy this one. I'll keep that in. I'm just going to give you a little heads up. I didn't buy this. It just, like, I got it from a couple, a couple loot boxes, from Halloween loot boxes. Uh, I didn't think about that because, I mean, yeah, I knew Echo didn't have a Halloween skin. And I was expecting her to get one, but... She kind of already, like, has so many skins. Like, it's not because that I... Not that I didn't want her to have a Halloween skin, but also it's mainly just because she's been getting skins very often, like, very frequently. So, like, they had to give her yet another one, which I'm not complaining, though, because it does look pretty decent. It looks pretty cool. Uh, obviously, there's no weapon I can scroll through because her weapon is... She is the weapon. She... Her power, she has powers and abilities, she doesn't need a weapon. Uh, but yeah, I didn't think about that. Because I never actually, I mean, I guessed which characters could get a Halloween skin, but I never actually thought of what they could get, or what it could be. Echo was one of those. I didn't think much about it, but yeah, she could have been a vampire rat, which makes sense. She's got like a, a bowl on the back of her neck that's like filled with blood. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because she's a robot, but you know. Whatever. And then the next one you've already seen in the loading screen, which our menu screen, which is Sater, Lucio. And it is Sater, not Satire. I've seen some people call it Satire in YouTube videos. But if you don't know what a Sater is, it's like a half humanoid, half goat. Which is like, basically, a humanoid figure with goat legs and hooves. And they have like, a horn, two little horns on their head. Which, I've never really depicted them being, like, you know, a Halloween-themed character. 
But I mean, I could see that. Uh, why? Because I mean, here's his weapon. His gun looks pretty cool. Got like a goat skull, like a ram. Because I mean, there's only. I'm not done. There's only so many things you can do with a Lucio skin, which there already was a concept art for a legendary skin for Lucio, but it was way different. It was not Seder. It was actually, uh, I think he was like a flamenco dancer, like an undead, like Book of Life theme. Like he was like a skeleton man. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Like it's with Sombra would be the best one. I didn't need to, hold on. Something like this. Something like that for a Halloween skin. But more Halloween-like. Actually, that'd be a better choice. Yeah, that's better. It'd be more like that for a Halloween skin. But, like, s like smoke and stuff coming off of his, uh, like, little roller skates. But on this one, they're more like, like ice skates. They got little horns on the bottom of them too. And then finally, my la my favorite skin is called Draeger or Draugr. I'm gonna go with Draeger. I don't know how you actually pronounce it, but I'm just gonna go call it Draeger. I've wanted a Reinhardt Halloween skin for a long time because I really like Reinhardt as a character. I just never, I did think actually a couple skin ideas for what he could be, but I was never thinking, I never thought to imagine him as a if you don't know what a Draeger is, it's supposed to be like a, um, it's another mythology character. It, it's, I think it's supposed to be, from what I looked it up, it's like a, not necessarily a zombie, but kind of like a zombie. It's like a zombie viking, but they refer to it more like a revenant. So, it's kind of like a revenant, basically. But just, it'd be better just to call it Zombie Viking. It makes more sense that way. But yeah, here's his hammer, or he gets an axe, not a hammer. I'll have to, like I said, I'm going to go in and take off the golden weapon skin so I can show you what they look like. Uh, here's Baptiste's Zombie Walk. Which I actually got it. <laughs> Boo emote for Moira. <laughs> I actually have it to get that one, but I got this one. Yeah, those are the three Halloween emotes. A lot of people don't care for the Sigma one, but a lot of people either like the Moira or Baptiste one the most. Because the Sigma one, they say it's pretty bland. It's just, oh, he lifts pumpkins out of the ground. And what's so big, crazy about that? I know, but I personally think it's cool. Yeah, here's a victory pose for Soldier. And I'm actually wearing the Halloween skin for him. I already was wearing a lot of the Halloween skins before the Halloween event even came on. Because they, they're just so good. Here's Torbjorn. It's a little, like, living pumpkin turret. That's what it is. And then Zenyatta's literally just holding one big pumpkin. I keep thinking he had a victory pose where all the little, like, orbs around him were pumpkins. I could be wrong. The archer vanished into the darkness. I'm sorry if it's cutting out. We don't have the best internet here. We should. You can't ask me. I'm... Ah! That one doesn't count. There you go. That actually is a Halloween skin for Junkrat too, from I think two years ago. Where's my candy? Okay. <laughs> 